All right, guys, welcome back uh, from the MLG offices in New York City. Ron, can you push me up a bit, just a bit? I test one, two. I can kind of hear you. Yeah. Like, okay. We're there gonna we figure go. out the audio just a little bit more. I think it's it's good now. This. Yeah. Okay, oh yeah. Oh, much better. Oh yeah, Ron, do that to me more. What? Stop. Just move away. What are we watching? <laughs> what are we watching? We're watching game two between Bling and Hope. This is the third set of the ESL Euro Cup semifinal match between yeah. Dignitas and Mouse Sports, currently tied up one to one overall in, in the team scores. Right. Uh, but in this individual match, excuse me, uh, Bling is up one to zero. If he wins his next game, he'll win that the best three set, and they'll bring Dignitas up to a two one lead, which m means they're one series away from taking down this match and advancing to the finals. Yes. Uh, of course, and the prize pool for for this this tournament is is five thousand euros. So it's a lot of. Yeah, that's a lot of money. For those like, for if you're not in Europe and you don't know what a euro is, um, that's like uh, a cheeseburger. Is that well, fair? No, because in no. Europe, cheeseburgers cost more than they do here. Oh. Okay, so for Americans, it's a cheeseburger. Yes. So for you Americans... Or you're if you're in the middle of America, it's like two cheeseburgers. True. Because they're like 80 cents. If you cents. go to one of those fast food places. Yeah, in like Colorado or... Right. Well, not not in, not in a big city, but like. What if you buy place. like? What if you go buy ten buns, then you buy eight patties for the eight burger patties because they never match oh, up. Oh, then it's a lot of. And then it's then it's a lot more burgers. Yeah. So depending on how you prepare your burgers, um, it's it's it, it, it's a good amount. It's a healthy serving of, of whatever you want, really. And of course, um, burger is the official American unit of money measuring. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like people talk about currency, it's it's American. You talk about number of burgers. Yeah. Right. It's obvious. Yeah. That's like when you learn economics in yeah. high school and elementary school. You're doing chores for your dad. Preschool. And it's how many burgers per hour do I get paid? Correct. At least that's how I'm raising my kids, yep. if I ever have any. Your kids are gonna be fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make them no, no I'm gonna have them lawn uh, lawn the mower a lot. Mow the lawn. What? I'm going to have them mow the lawn a lot. Make sure they don't, they have a, um, one that's just a, a push, uh, a push lawn mower that yes. has no engine at all, so they've got to get some good workout, you know? Oh. My like kid would probably just ones. develop a way that it, so it moves without needing an engine, and then I'd be impressed. Like, Dude, that, that's totally worth it. If your kid's that smart, yeah. then you're allowed to be, <laughs> there you, you go. Do I'll give you him two do. burgers for yeah. that. Um, okay, so this is game two, and yes. Hope is, is not fared well against Blink. No, he's, he's, he's literally, he's, he's, Overall, down to a three in a sense, yes. right? So, how does he win a game here? I mean, I think the first step is at least for the way he's playing. Um, it's like he wants to play safe. He, has to, he doesn't want to get. He doesn't want to risk getting into an engagement yep. that could result in him when you're losing the game immediately early on, right? So he's. If, if you notice that when he goes push out with the units, he's very hesitant. He keeps backing up and stuff, um, which is fine if he wants to play a later macro game. Um, but the number one step to a Zerg playing a longer macro game is to uh, minimize Hydra production as much as possible. Because um, Hydras aren't really a unit he's, you, you want to mass. He's done that every game. Yeah, he's really... Um, and it's, it's okay to mass Hydras playing a tempo, aggressive type game. Um, but he's really been... Hasn't been doing that, you know. I don't think we've seen a single engagement beyond, like, Zell attacks or whatever, you know. Um, a, sing a single engagement of any uh, definitive force yep. before the 14-minute mark yet in any of these games. And if you're talking about pre-14 minute engagements, like... Those are important. Yeah, if you're doing Hydras, you better be max at like 12 minutes and attacking then. Yeah. Um, I, he, I feel like he keeps trying to make that transition work to like Mutas or something where he's yeah. just making those initial Hydras and it's just not working. I wanted to build a Nidus. Just hope, I promise, just try it once. We'll see. Like right when you put down your Hydrogen, put down a Nidus and then see what you can do with it. Um, but I, I do, while we have a little bit of time, yep. um, I do want to, for those of you who are just now tuning in, wondering what the heck is going on on MajorLeagueGaming.com or Twitch.tv slash MLGSC2 or YouTube.com slash official MLGSC2. Currently watching, currently broadcasting the ESL Euro Series uh, semifinals. This is a team league. Bling, uh, excuse me, right now we're watching Dignitas versus Mouse. They're currently tied 1-1, and Bling is up 1-0 here. We are live. Uh, we have a little stream delay because these... Uh, these matches are being happening, are, are, are happening online. So to re preserve the integrity of the tournament, we re we have a very small uh, stream delay. So thanks for tuning in and thanks for supporting what we're doing here. And I hope you guys continue to tune in because it's always awesome seeing familiar faces in the chat. You you guys know who you are, um, and seeing periodic subs too makes me a little bit a little bit happy. 
Uh, a little bit of story about the players here on yeah. Bling and Hope. So, um, Hope is, uh, I don't know a whole ton about him, honestly. Um, I think he's, I want to say he's German. Uh, can you look that up for me real yes. quick? But about Bling, Bling of course, uh, is from the United Kingdom. Uh, um, England to be more, a little bit more specific. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and he's historically, over the last year and a half, been the guy who wins every British tournament. Yes. Like, it's just, I mean, it, about a year and a half ago was the Muslim winning all that. But over the past almost two years now, I'd say Bling has been getting uh, the best results uh, from the all, all the British players. Uh, so he's like their top player. He's doing great right now. He's one of Dignan Toss's uh, mainstay players on lineups, the guy they go to when they want to get a lot of wins. And that's why they, they field him twice in, in this matchup. Hope is from Sweden. Um, I'm looking at his. He doesn't have a ridiculous amount of results on his Wikipedia page. Oh, from Sweden. Okay. His name is Dan yeah. Hope Gustafsson. Plays there for Mouse Sports. So. Well, um, Mouse Sports is definitely hoping that he can uh, win this one, bring yep. him the two to one lead. Of course, uh, no matter who wins this series, mm -hmm. that the clan the, or the, the team or the team match, excuse me, isn't entirely over yet because the team match is is, is a best of five. Yep. Uh, five and, and they're tied 1-1. One, one. So, tied so one, one, Bling exactly. wins this, Dignitas will be up 2-1, and Mouse will be in the position where they have to win the next two matches to make it to the finals of this tournament. Come one step closer to 5,000 cheeseburgers. So Bling is again going for his um, mass voider strategy. He, he, he wants those burgers, and the, the triple Stargate, it's, it's proved great. I mean, he, he's got a solid read. If you know your opponent pretty much only builds Hydra-less and sometimes Mule-less, Triple Stargate is amazing because Void Rate supplemented by uh, Sentries plus any type of gateway units is going to clobber Hydra, or not clobber, it's going to do very well against Hydras. Um, uh, and, and then, of course, if they try to go Mutas, you have three Stargates ready to go Phoenixes. And, and we're seeing, you know, very similar stuff to last game. Hope yep. uh, investing in Hydra upgrades, investing in Hydra Disc range, investing in a good number of Hydra Discs. Now, if there's any map that you can really try to break the Void Ray player, this is a great one because yep. you can occupy this space between the bases in whichever location. You don't want to charge up a ramp against sentries, but you just send in a speed lead, an overlord or something, one Hydra. You see which of their bases has the, the superior number of units. Right. And for, in this case, he'd see Bling as a sentry, zealot, and what is up here. So he'd send something like six, five Hydras. Isolate some of the space. army. Isolate some of yeah. the army. And then, and then the rest would some. just stay right. you know, basically back here. Um, Set up that concave at the bottom, send some units up into the natural, get some damage into that economy, and make your opponent have to like act like a wizard to actually defend against that that play. Because that like as a Protoss who's not as good as Bling, it's it's tough. You know, when you're on three bases and they're coming for that Roach Hydra, if you mess up one way, you it's it's not gonna be fun. Bling though, uh he is as good as Bling. Uh, in fact he's Oh! We're seeing Oh I so love this. Hope got an infestation pit. Oh I'm so happy. Okay. Uh, I've been waiting for him to get Infestation Pit for three games. Five. Um, in game one, around like 30 minutes, said he did get one, um, but it was a little so bit too late. I think in the past, he's been going for Spire and, and trying to go for Muta as a little bit of yeah. a, a Muta mix in, but it hasn't worked. He's adjusting this time. Yeah, and, and I think the Hive could be great. Uh, he could try to hit uh, a Viper time, you know, like maybe 14, 15 minutes, something like that. Um, it, it's, it's still not quite as fast. He, he really got a lot of Hydras and, and stuff before he started Infestation Pit. Um, so it would have been nice to get even faster. But I think he, he still will get Hive, and that will give him the option to do s like something with it. You know, he could he'd easily add in Swarm Host to deal with all the ground forces, and then the ground's gone. The Voyagers are easy on their own. Uh, you could add in Infestors, the Vipers. He's got a lot of options here. Uh, he's kind of posturing out here, but he does not want any piece of Bling's army. Bling's army is substantially stronger yep. uh, than Hope's right now. Just threatening, uh, trying to buy time for Vipers. And Bling spotted the Hive, so... Uh, he's, he's, you know, he's getting the, the Robo to help get Observers in case there's Burrowed Infestors. Uh, he already has High Templar. Like yeah. He's got Storm on the way, so that's going to be a thing. It, that has, the High Templar are great against Vipers and Hydras. It all comes out of positioning, because those Vipers get those poles on your Colossi, or your Voiders, your expensive units, pull them into those Hydras, then that's the definition of cost efficiency. Because the, the idea is going to be use the High Templars, get those feedbacks on the Vipers, and keep those Vipers out of the fight. Now, Hope is really getting a, a surplus of minerals here. He could use a lot of speedings to harass some of these bases. Like, this fourth of Bling is very hard because for him to defend, if he puts his whole army here, his third is very vulnerable. So, speedings are great on a big open map like Derelict Watcher to just constantly deny your opponent's extra bases. Um, he does have a, a, a decent amount of larvae, so we, we may see him uh, use some more of those speeding attacks. Here's another squad well, here. Thinking about engaging, yep. seeing those warped in zealots saying, you do not belong here, trying to take them out. Now, he does have no upgrades on him, but, I mean, 
it's still still could be plus here. Yeah, I think the Zealots is also the plus to the upgrade advantage yeah. uh, take down. But I mean, speedings are so replaceable. Look at his resources he has. He can he can throw those away like they're nothing now. Take a base in the top left too, like that. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I mean, he should just he has so many minerals. Just take all the bases. Mm -hmm. For at least you have creep. And take all the there. things. Ooh, I don't know about engaging here. Yeah, uh, trying to peel some things off. Those vipers. Um, where's his army? Because that doesn't look like a max Stark army. Um, I guess he does have 80 drones, so that's a good chunk of it there. He's getting to Aspire now, so we may see that Muta transition later on. Um, oh yeah, going straight for the pot on a great call there uh, by Hope. Meanwhile, this base uh, should probably be, I mean, he could split off a small group like of the, units. There's rocks. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. There's also rocks that lead to that location. Yeah, yeah right, right there. Here. Those can be nice to take out. Uh, yeah, open absolutely. up another avenue. Uh, in fact, Bling is counterattacking here. Okay, Ooh. now this is a great use of minerals. Get a lot of extra sag defenses. Yep. He doesn't need so many drones right now. He has a lot of resources. So, uh, supplementing your, uh, your your base of the sag defense is, is definitely what you want to do as a Zerg at this point in time. Uh, because it's hard to use the minerals. If you think about the army you want to Zerg, oh, he's making more Hydras. He's going to get rolled probably. Um, we'll see. Maybe, if maybe. he does multi pronged stuff, like. He never wants to engage one on one with that army. Yeah, no, nah, I mean pure Hydra is just going to be yeah. against Storm. I, 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 you know, he's planning for a muted, a, a oh, big. Oh, there's three Colossi on the way. Once, once, those, you know, before those come out, the Protoss army is not that big. There's only yeah. a few. And you can get a big uh, concave here if you come in from every direction, or at least try yeah. to. Uh, Maybe peel away some units, attack that base at the top right now. I think that'd be. We'll a see, good, you might a be good going choice. for it, and. Be careful. One road's trying to see what's up. Time warp. I like that time warp actually. This is where you really want to have a lot of swarm hosts to push anyway. back all the zealots and Templar. Uh, but he's yeah. going to do it. Oh, the Templar are wanting to get those Looking feedbacks. Looking for the feedbacks on the, the Vipers. Vipers staying back, splitting up those hydras. It's a little charge on the front. Yeah, I mean, Bling has this position oh, to go. There goes some great feedbacks. feedbacks. Okay, this is dangerous for Hope. This is yeah. really dangerous for him. And uh, a bunch of Colossi about to pop. Yeah, and once I, those three I, I would not engage if I'm Hope. you got to keep those units alive. Get ready for your Muta transition. He's about to make 30 Mutas, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that, that's definitely... And he's getting some Queens, too. That can be nice. Okay, uh, so he, he has to tr try to sp uh, trade as cost efficiently as he can right here. All right, here he goes. Coming up against the Zealots. Uh, some Hydra's being bled off there. What is he going to go for? The Ducks just running the Vipers. Yeah, he's just actually just sending him in the I, 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 would, uh, I mean, he's not... I mean... I, in an ideal world, yeah. you have something to attack at the top because you know your opponent's main army is yep. at the bottom, right? So we can be nitpicky, but there's the 32, 32 meters in production. And this is what Hope is going to... He has to make this work. And this is kind of okay because his opponent hasn't necessarily spotted Yeah, this I mean, there are three Stargates, but uh, it's going to... You know, it, it takes about a couple minutes with three Stargates to get enough Phoenixes to deal with this. And if Bling was building those Phoenixes right now, it would be is a problem. Is this base trade, or do you try to engage his Hope? Uh, you know what? I think you, if you can kill this, uh, I don't think you can engage. There's too many void rays, man. Try to, oh, I like Maybe. that. Pulling the void yeah, rays forward and sniping them. That Pulling another one forward. He's Using Vipers and Mutas together. That's super cool. Gotta be careful of Storm. One Storm goes down. Hits pretty much all the Mutas. Gotta be careful actually running back into the Storm for a little bit there. Yeah. Taking um, down this base at the bottom side of the map. Mutas trying to bait those Storms forward. Trying to get those solid engages. Meanwhile, a Zealot counterattack uh, in the top left and bling. Those fines are too late. He doesn't and care. It's, he's in complete control once again. The huge problem with this is... The mutas are all about the surprise factor. You come in and you can like kill this Nexus, right? You just kill the, the cannons and Nexus and, yep. and the Protoss is unhappy, right? Uh, but he, he lost the surprise factor. Remember, there's three Stargates. He's triple building Phoenixes. Uh, and, and the upgrades, I mean, the mutas only have a single attack upgrade. I don't, I don't know how well the mutas can do without that surprise factor. Yeah, I mean, if the Hydras has been able to delay a little bit longer, if he had been able to be a little bit more cost efficient yeah. with that, I mean, it could have been better. Like, splitting half of them, setting half to the top, half to the bottom, something like that. Um, I, everyone's going to yell, yell at me, incorporating Nidus, something like that. Yeah. Um, but buying time, so you, you can have that surprise factor with the Mutas, and you don't have to engage an entire army, because if you can do damage to the Hydras, then the Protoss has to stay back a little bit, rebuild, and then come across the map, giving your Mutas time. So, to, to get across the map. Hope still has a small amount of time before Phoenix Range completes, and he might be able to get some damage done. He has some, some Corruptors to help shield the Mutas, but that window is closing. Once Phoenix Range completes against the type of air army Bling's going to have, uh, even with Corruptors there, it, it's still going to definitely favor the Protoss. So he's got to get something done. This, this base is very vulnerable. He could easily take that out, and then once he takes that out, Bling's only mining from uh, two bases that are both getting very low on minerals. Uh, so that could be what he's going to do. Here come the Phoenixes. Oh, oh the Mutas getting uh, yeah. a few decent shots off. Remember, the Corruptors are there now. That was a funny... You see him abducted, but it died as it was being abducted. So it's just a little tentacle <laughs> yeah. kind of just hung there and there. Um, yeah, he could definitely go in and take out the fourth base, or at least force a recall. Uh, he knows the main Protoss army is down here. Yes. Um, 
He's not killing the fourth. He's actually going to come back. Like, oh, you know what? You're going to try to zone the, the, this army out. Now he, he can did, recall. It, if he can snipe the militia core. Yeah, um, there still are a lot of storms, though, and there's enough void rays that combine with storm. It, it could the go Phoenix bad. Yeah, and the Phoenixes for... are right there as well. What we can do is, is if he attacks something with the mutas and he keeps the corruptors uh, behind oh, him. Oh, he just recalled, by the way. Yeah, that was a smart move by Bling. It would have yeah. been risky if the militia core died. And yep. You know, Bling knows wow, that he's been... Wow, the base at the top left, too. Yeah, he's been trimming down the bases of hope. He, he knows that... He's in a good position. He doesn't want to risk a uh, weird engagement, right? Um, he's even going to need a second cycle to continue air upgrades to maintain this air dominance that he has going right now. Um, it's we kind of weird to say Protoss is air dominance when Zerg is making nothing but air. Well, actually, that's a lot of crop tiers. It is. Um, it's going to be interesting. Now, it's uh, all, it's, a lot of this is mobility, too. Yeah, I mean, like, obviously, if there's storms in the picture, the Protoss will destroy the Zerg, yep. but the Zerg can, you know, all his, all his arm is fine. He can avoid the storms, and without the storms, it's a much closer situation. Uh, at least until the Protoss gets a few more Phoenixes and Borders on the field. Alright, Corruptors and Mutas backing up, and again, this is what Bling has been doing. Like, uh -oh. Corruptors... This could be huge. Oh. Three Infestors in production. Ooh, um, if he gets a Money Fungal on the Phoenixes, that could totally turn the game around. Though Bling has so many resources now. Oh, he's gonna try to zone out the Phoenixes a little bit. The Corruptors yeah. actually... Oh, they're engaging the Void... They're charged Void Rays. He's engaging just the Corruptors there. Here oh, come the, the Storms. The Mutas trying to target on the Void Rays. Looking for the Storms is Blink. Oh, wow, man. really good Storm onto those Mutas. Yeah. And um, he's just going to get melted here. Yeah, curious decision to engage there. Um, he, he killed some Protoss stuff, I mean, but... Not. Yeah, overall... Um, how would you have preferred Hope kind of handle that well, the past minute? I mean, the whole thing is he has an mobility advantage, right? So this this base should have been dead five times over. Um, Protoss should be stuck having to camp this base or else it's dead, right? Right. But throughout um, this whole process, Bling has had the momentum across the map, taking yeah. down hatcheries. He's forcing Hope to make those decisions. He's forcing the Zerg to deal with his counterattacks. He has all the momentum on his side, and and and, and Hope was just yeah. unable to get the momentum back. For him. And as soon as you fight under Storm, I mean, the Protoss air army is already stronger than the Zerg one. Yeah. And then you add Storm in the picture. I mean, it's pretty brutal. The Zerg, of course, has a mobility advantage. So, right. like, there was so much of the time when Hope is at the top of the map. He had at least five opportunities to kill the fourth base, shut down the whole economy of Bling. Um, and then you could, if Bling recalls to the fourth, you just fly over and go straight to the main. Right. And you, he recalls there, you fly back to the fourth. Now he's out of recalls, right? And he's, he's dead. Um, there's so many moves like that that that's the whole point of investing in those units is their mobility, not their strength in battle. Yeah. Um, but he kind of just used them. You know, he used uh, he used a whip like he used a sledgehammer. Uh, and it doesn't doesn't work as well. Yes. You, uh, he needed to be you a little bit more the, technical. Yeah, he needed exactly. to be more technical with his positioning yeah. and, and his decision making. But honestly, really cool set of games. Bling going 2-0-2-0 against Hope. Showing Bling is he's still you know what he once was. And he's, he's still going to be a force to be reckoned with in the future. Which means Dignitas is going to be up 2-1. to one against Mouse. Now, again, if y'all know, don't know necessarily what we're watching, this is the semifinals of the ESL Raid Call Euro, C, uh, Euro Series. There's four teams left in the playoffs. We got two semifinals that we're covering. First semifinal today, second semifinal is tomorrow. The semifinal that's today is Dignitas versus Mouse. Dignitas currently up two to one. Yes. So they're one win away from making it to the finals, which would be huge for them. Um, that being said, Feel free, uh, guys, in the chat, ask us questions about the games or, or whatever. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday evening or Sunday afternoon, depending on where you live. Video 2000, how you doing, Affinity? Swarpum, Twitch LOL, Shalashaska824, he's here all the time. Bomb Jin, good to see you. Sated Griever, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and continuing to support. Uh, Twitch.tv slash MLGSC2 and MajorLeagueGaming.com. And remember, if you want to catch VODs, YouTube.com slash official MLGSC2. And if at any point in the day you're looking for StarCraft, where do you suggest they go? I would suggest you go to MajorLeagueGaming.com. Yeah, I mean... And then there's, there's, there's if, you, if you go to the homepage, um, there's just right in your face is this stream. Yep. And then there's like four tabs in different games. So yep. you want to watch Dota 2, you click Dota 2, you want to watch mm -hmm. League of Legends, click League of Legends, Call of Duty. Yeah, um, we actually have... StarCraft 2 and another, I think. I think Dota just started something like 13 minutes ago. Yes. So if you're looking for a second stream to watch or something to watch at the same time, definitely go give them some love. Or um, if you have two monitors or something, um, definitely look into that. But guys, we're, we're going to take a quick break. We have more matches. Do we know what the next game is going to be? It might be Hasselhoff's Targa. Okay. Or the other match... Um, 
you know what? We'll I mean, see. I mean, yeah. the issue is Dignitas is in is in a winning situation. They're one win away from advancing on Mouse. Must win two matches yeah. in Or a row. It, it could be a Vortex Tuffle. Sure. Um, I think it's Hasrob's target as the next match. But we'll, we'll find out in just a minute. We'll oh. be right back. Wait. Oh, can I? Yeah. Someone's asking a question. Yes. Nick, when Bling gets early Stargate and free 10-minute third and forces three, gate, three Stargate production, do you think Zerg should avoid any... Uh, tier 2 max out. Also, since many also good Zergs generally favor the Hydra Viper play versus air, if Toss gets a good trade, do you think blindly making 3-6 to six Phoenix is good due to the tier 2 cost inefficiency? Uh, what, a, what a cool question. Though. I absolutely agree that as a Protoss, if if you're going mass air and the Zerg is on Roach Hydra, yeah. as soon as you win a battle, start making Phoenixes. And the thing is, you're going to win a battle because you're on Roach Hydra, which if you play well, you should clobber. And then why not make Phoenixes? Because even if they still go Roach Hydra, you're you're so far ahead from already crushing one army right. that you can afford to make six nine Phoenixes blind no problem, and you can still harass them and still pick up Hydras, uh, because the Mutas switch is, is a threat, right? So you just kind of get the Phoenixes anyway, um, and if they don't go Mutas, they're still on Roach Hydra. You're great. Um, about the about the, the heavy tier two pressure against the style Bling was playing. Sure. Uh, if you do it, you kind of like you said, you might want to Nidus, and you have to really commit, like. If, There's if no you're wishy washiness. If you're like, I'm doing a tier two pressure and it's 14 minutes. Yeah, it depends on the map too. If it's a really yeah. small map, like that's expanded, like that's. Derek so Watcher is a great map for it. Right. Um, uh, like Whirlwind, if yeah. you're trying it, you have a lot more time to work with, kind of a thing. But then yep. Nidus would be a little bit better. So. There's a lot of elements. And uh, Whirlwind, there's a lot of uh, spaces in the main you can nice. Like you can do it in front to right. distract, and then you put one in the main. Uh, there's there's actually there's a lot of good aggression. But if you're gonna be aggressive, be aggressive. You you better be maxed at the latest by like 12:30, yeah. and you better be in their face right at that point in time as well. So. All right, guys, we gotta go. Uh, yep. We're gonna take a quick break. I got yeah. Thanks for the questions. Keep the questions coming. We'll be right back.